Hi everyone, it's Mike. Um, there's been some questions on how to use Raven, which is Aviary's vector editor. So I thought I'd go over a few um, pointers and kind of help some of the new users uh, get familiar with this program. Okay, let me familiarize you with kind of the layout of Raven here. This is your page in the center of your workspace. Um, to your right, you have your layers panel and your fill and stroke dialog box. And on the left, you have all your tools. And right down the corner here, you have your fill color and outline color. The quickest way to draw shapes in Raven is to use the regular shape tool. Draw rectangles, stars, regular polygons, circles, and even spirals. Um, you just click on the tool you want, you click the mouse, and while holding the mouse button you can drag away and create a shape. Like this star for example, we can create a star. And then you can edit that star by using the edit paths tool and you'll see a couple control points which you can then adjust your your regular shape with. Um, move the center here and you can see as you draw the shapes they are um, displayed here in your layers tree and you can adjust that so if we want this star below the circle like so the circle is on top of the star we just drag that shape underneath the circle over here and you'll notice in the workspace that the circle has moved above the star or actually the star has moved below the circle and that's how you can arrange shapes in your file okay so that's basic shapes pretty straightforward let us just uh, get rid of those for here real quick okay so that was basic shape but if you want an irregular shape uh, you can draw them by hand um, you can use the freehand tool it's a little bit squirrely at the moment, so I mean you're not going to get a really nice crisp shape. But I mean you can you could draw quite a bit of stuff here. You know you can draw, you know, a little dude here. Pretty straightforward. It's a nice useful tool. I use it a lot to sketch with, but like I said, it doesn't leave really good shapes, really clean shapes. So you want to use the pen tool which is extremely powerful and all vector editor programs use uh, the pen tool. It's not a real discoverable tool, like it's not intuitive, so you know it helps to have someone show you kinda the ins and outs of it. First off, you'll click to set anchor points in your shape, so we'll just set a few anchor points here and that's just click and release on the mouse and you can make irregular shapes like so. Notice all the lines in it are straight. There's no curves. Uh, so say you want something with curves. Well, let's just get rid of that and we'll show you what, how to do this. So you have the pen tool here again. Click but hold down the mouse button this time and uh, drag away from the control point. You'll notice you'll have uh, control handles here. And you can move those around as long as you're holding down the mouse button. But as soon as you release those, your line is ready for your next point. So you can set your next point and draw uh, your control handles away and you can continue to do that and make quite uh, nice curved shapes here. And when you want to close your shape you just hit uh, click the end point. Say you want to create, let's get rid of that, say you want to create curves and lines. Well we can do that at the same time. So we'll set our anchor point, draw some control handles away, but this next point just click and release, don't draw any control handles away. Uh, you see you got your curve, but you'll notice uh, when I set the third point that this path going from point two to point three is straight. It's because I didn't draw any control handles. So we can add control handles when we want to and when sometimes when we don't. Just depends on on how you handle each one of those anchor points. And if you don't get it right the first time, we'll just go to the path editor tool. Say I didn't want this curve to be jutted out like that, so we'll just pull it back in. And we can maneuver points and control handles. So I want this point out this way. Just click the point and drag it out. And you can fit your curve your, or your path to any shape really you want. It just depends on what you want to do. But say I want this line here curved and there's no control handles. Well, what you can do is this convert anchor point tool. This tool 
will let you draw control handles off an anchor point, any any of the points. Or say I want this line to be straight. You just click it with the convert anchor point and say you want to add a sharp corner here but you don't have any points there. Uh, if you go to the add anchor point you can add anchor point to any of your paths. Click it and add an anchor point. And now when I go back to my editor I can control the anchor points and make that a sharp little point there. So it's quite a powerful tool. So now we've kind of basically went over how to create shapes and there's other methods but those are the ones you're going to use the most. Okay so now that we have our shape but I don't want it to be white with a black outline so how do we change that? Well that's where our fill and stroke comes in. So down here is the fill and stroke dialog box where you can change your fill your stroke and even the style of the outline around it. So I want this shape to be red with a yellow outline. So first off let's select the shape so we know we're going to change that color. We'll just double click on this color box here, switch the color to red, and the shape reflects the change there. And it's totally filled with red. And now let's fix the outline. Let's make it yellow. So we'll select the yellow color. and red shape with the yellow outline but that yellow outline is kinda hard to see so let's make it bigger so I'm just gonna expand that outline uh, we'll say six we'll make it six pixels wide and uh, there you go we've changed the properties of the shape itself um, but there's also something else great about fill here is you can fill it with gradients. It doesn't have to be a flat color. So I want this to be a red that fades to say pink. Let's change it to a linear fill which makes this a gradient, a linear gradient. And we'll change it to pink and it's reflected in our shape. So we have red fades to pink. But say I want it to fade from red at the top to pink at the bottom. Well that's we can fix that with the gradient transform tool. So with the gradient transform tool, it uh, draws this control handle over the shape, which doesn't alter the shape at all. It only alters the fill inside it. So we can drag these two control handles around and alter how that fill is drawn in that shape. We can stretch it out, we can shrink it down to make it a real short transition in there. I know there's going to be some more advanced tutorials coming up. Um, this is, was just a basic overview. There's a lot of features in Raven that I didn't really even touch base on. And uh, you should really should explore it and learn what you can from it. Look at other users' files. Uh, there's some really great artists out there. Um, check it out and have fun with Raven.